yo, I was just watching my video and I left out a couple things. So now I'm making part two to that video. So I went through, you know, how I get Gex uh, to use it. But I, I think I forgot to say like the main, main use case that I use it for. And so I, I was like, I, I got to make another video and put that out. But the main thing as a day trader, when I'm watching my setup from the last video, a common thing that happens is the volume will rise and, and certain strikes get a ton of volume. And usually basically what happens is there's two, sometimes three or four strikes that have a ton of volume and price just typically magnetizes and migrates to there. And so like today there's a ton of 40, 50 calls. Usually what happens or a lot of times what happens is price migrates right up to that strike with all the call volume and usually it'll close just right under it because like the high strike is 40 50 i'm looking at spx right now and it's literally 40 49.8 you usually what happens is it goes right up to it and then closes right under it so like if 40 50 is the high strike it'll close right under it because then all those 40 50 uh, calls expire worthless so that was like main thing i, I think i forgot to say um, and so, yeah, I want to share back my screen, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and just show you. So yeah, usually you have two, I'll get my little drawing tool out Two, you know, big volume strikes. Um, right. And, and usually it just goes to one of those and, and kind of stays right up under it. So that, that's the main practical use as a day trader is just monitoring it and and so that took me a while to figure out i didn't really know i didn't really know the gamma the gamma plays a role in and it contributes to the volatility and liquidity which i talked about in, in the first video <clears throat> or the original video but really what happens as a day trader is volume piles up they go to it so i wanted to talk about that and, and another thing I left out as to why I use zero DTE other than the fact that it's daily and I'm day trading is the, the sheer volume. So not dollars, but the volume in the SPX zero DTE is insane. It's about half the volume of all volume on the index is traded on that day for zero T Z DTE options. This is a chart. Um, this is from the tier one alpha morning emails for free. Um, and here, here it is. They got, this is all the volume. So this blue is zero DTE. The red is one DTE at tomorrow's, uh, or this was posted yesterday, but you get the point zero DTE, one DTE or all other ones. Look at how it compares. Um, also sometimes what I do is calculate that myself. You know me, I don't like, I don't trust anybody. So so you come in to the trade tab here on thinkorswim and you go down here to product depth and you can look at volume of the options traded today. And, and by the way, before I do that, um, I realized, you know, pretty much what I'm looking for on my dashboard is one volume bar going up and then the price goes to that. That's the main, you know, most common use of of this stuff and then i realized i really didn't need any of that that you could do the same thing by looking at this right here and you can see the high volume strikes four thousand on the put side 40 50 on the call side and that's the main information i use anyway so there's that but yeah it, to see how much volume is zero dte right now i'm looking at 40 uh 40 strikes just to make the graph neat but if i drop this down and go to all it will tell me I just did it it will tell me the total of uh, for the day right there so I'm gonna just gonna add it up five 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 four sorry four two seven plus five three one four three four so a million and eighty six thousand on the zero DTE and here up at the top are our option statistics for all everything. And here's a million calls, 1.2 million puts. And there's the total right there. So I'm going to go divide 2,272,529. Bam. 
47%. So there you have it today. Out of all the SPX volume, 47% of it was zero DTE. So another thing I forgot to share is that you can get this if you don't want to calculate it. Lots of people post it. Um, one of the one good source is Discord. You can go to Investors Haven is a good one I like. Where are that? So Investors Haven, they do nice uh, nice Gex exposure, and here you can add your watch list, and and it's free. So here's zero DTE. They have positive Gex on the left, negative Gex on the right. Basically, the and lots of extra bells and whistles, or for across ninety eight days. I just like to do my own calculations. Another one, a nice one, is Nope Cord. They used to have, actually, the dopest version of it um, was in here from some guy named Jazz Jazz, right here, and it was like the Jazz Bot stream. I don't know what happened to that, but I wish they, had, you know, he could bring that back. Um, other free resources, you know, you got Sergey to calculate it. Uh, a free one I use and love is Tier 1 Alpha. You can get this for free. This is actually coming in live. Spot Gamma has a free version. You know, the OGs, Squeeze Metrics, they have this data for free. Um, and then I wanted to talk about, you know, there's other ones that you can pay for. You know, Unusual Whales, Trade Ticks, Tradidix. I don't know how you say that. There's something called Gamma Edge, Trading Volatility. But I wanted to talk about one more thing that I use which is when I'm watching the options come in on today's stuff, sometimes I want to drill down and look at the what's going on inside that option. So today the hot option was that 4050 uh, that 4050 call, right? And so if I want to learn a little bit more about that, I come over here to unusual whales and I have my the tickers as SPX or SPXW weekly and my filters are set to, from zero DTE to one and it, this shows all the hot chains live and then I like to sort by volume just to see the the big dogs that day and so then what I really like to do is you can click the date right here and you can drill down to that specific option contract and this is dope Th this shows on the left side of the y-axis you have the total number of contracts traded and I'm on a five minute time frame I could zoom into one minute or ten if I wanted then on the right y-axis it's this yellow line and you actually have the contract price to see how they're doing. And in a lot of days, you know, it'll be a dollar in the morning and $30 uh, by the afternoon. But my, my dashboard only shows one simple volume bar going up. Right. And it, this, that doesn't tell me the whole story. I need to know when did that volume get traded? Is it still a hot ticker or what? So I come over here to this unusual whales tool. It's my favorite, favorite thing they got. And I can see right here these these tall volume bars, and they're split up by bid and ask volume, which is just dope. And so that's that's the other tool I use. All right, left those out, so I just wanted to put those in. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Later.